All right, world. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Well, Singapore. My first full day in Singapore. Now, the plan for this morning or today is to head down to Serangoon Road, which is quite a famous road in Singapore. There's actually a, a soapy and Australian telenovela called Serangoon Road, all about World War II. Little India is in the same direction and I'm excited but for now my first job for the day is to find a coffee so I think I might have found the place then I'll check my Google Maps and we'll head down to Serangoon Road for breakfast. A very strong coffee and it is strong and I've got a tin paratha coming. That's for you, Luke. Okay, this is one part of Singapore that's going to take a bit of getting used to. It's um, standing at crosswalks where there's no traffic, having to wait for the light to turn green. It's not in my nature. And so far, my favourite part of Singapore, soda water's in all the shops again. Oh, I miss soda water. So, guys. This is the famous Serangoon Road. There's something going on, so I'm not going to go in there. They're praying now. During World War II, before the Japanese invaded, I believe this was kind of like the centre for the British. So this has been a very, very important road for a long time. But I'm going to go and have a bit of an explore, maybe eat some food. Oh, another Hindu temple in amongst all the high rises. Nice. And um, if you see all the lights up here, it's like Christmas at night time. Uh, I doubt I'm going to get here at night. You know me, guys, I'm more of a daytime person. I get up early in bed early so, I might have come for a wander if I'm awake not too tired yeah guys usually when I do these walks I've walked maybe a couple of k's already this morning usually there really is so much to see but this is quite a modern city so it's not the same it's not as exciting as normal but right now we're heading to little little India which is not too far away now I don't think maybe another half a K down the road here I think but we will find out when we get there yeah, I'm still on my way to try and uh, to Little India not too far down here but I noticed this big mall so I, I thought I'd wander in see what a Singapore mall looks like it looks pretty flash from the outside but we'll see so one thing I'm looking out for while I'm in Singapore is a shop sunglass shop that sells Serengeti sunglasses. I've worn Serengetis for probably 20 years, but they're just almost impossible to get in Perth now. So I bought this pair of Ray-Bans. Rubbish, really. All the, they're only not even a year old, all the paint's coming off them, and they are real, I wasn't scanned. They're, they're real Ray-Bans. And um, they hurt your nose, and when I watch YouTube videos, I know who wears Ray-Bans because they've always got that little two little indentations on their nose because those sunglasses are so uncomfortable but Serengeti's, and I've never asked for sponsorship before guys but Serengeti's, if you want to sponsor me I'll be your most proud spokesman I love your glasses and, um, yeah, so I'm on the search for a sunglass shop that sells Serengeti's well guys, I don't have to walk to Little India. I can get the train, or well, I think it's a train, maybe it's a bus. I'm about to find out. This is the MRT. Well guys, that was so easy. All you have to do is tap in with your Visa or MasterCard. So I just use my travel card rather than my credit card. You just tap in when you walk into the station. You tap in when you walk out. And this will be this will only cost me 95 cents. Oh guys, this is the 
famous Buffalo Street, Little India. This is all restaurants all up along here, but we're going to have a wander around. Then I'm going to go and find my Singaporean tattooist. I know who I'm going to see. I've just got to um, work out from here how to get there. It's not that far. Go and meet them. I'll probably get done when I come back. That's the plan. But I'm going to go and meet them so they can start have a look where there's room to tattoo and work out what they're going to put on me. Well, guys, it's officially a fact. I'm racist. Whenever I see backpackers, other Westerners, I cringe. It's, uh, I don't know why. I really don't. But I enjoy the sort of travel that other people don't go to. So when I see a heap of, like they're everywhere, everywhere I look, white people. And guys, this is Campbell Lane. It smells so good, all the incense burning, flower shops. It looks like it's sort of all touristy sort of stuff, but this is well worth a visit, guys. You could probably spend a day just exploring Little India on its own. And what I was saying before about me not enjoying the exploring here as much as I do most places. Um, I'm now enjoying it. Well, the guy just stopped me in the street and said this is the best chai in Little India. So I'm going to have a cup of tea, maybe a samosa. So I've seen a million videos, people talking about masala tea. Oh no, guys, this is just like drinking chili. Delicious. Chili tea. Yummy. And guys, what's like inside the MTR, which I'm guessing stands for Metropolitan Transport. Railway, maybe. Uh, it goes everywhere in Singapore. It makes life easy. Oh, I got off the train at Fort Canning. Look what I found. Just wondering here, my the tattooist I'm trying to see in Singapore is up here somewhere. So I'm going to go into the shop so they can um, see my skin and play in the tattoo. Yeah guys, this was well worth the walk. Now why this is called Fort Canning, I'm not sure. I will try and find out. But these buildings here do look quite historical. Just in front of me here. Uh, and I'm going the right direction because this Google Maps just spoke to me. Well guys, and the uh, famous building with like the ship on the top I should know the name of that it's the most famous building in Singapore it's just up here I can see it when there's no buildings in the way and um it's quite expensive to go up the top and I was thinking well I mean it's only going to be here once but that's not right I will be coming back with Janet so tomorrow or later on today I'll decide whether I'm going to go up or not and, um, or if I'm going to wait till I'm here with Janet. There really is some incredible architecture in this town, guys. This old bridge, it's called the Reed Street Bridge, I think. Look at all these buildings. And behind here is the really famous one. In fact, what I'm going to do is stop up here in the shade and look in Google so I can stop calling it that famous building. Start calling it by its name. So it's the Marina Bay Sands, it's the building I was talking about, it's three towers connected by a big platform on the roof, it's got swimming pools and bars and things. But look at this one guys, the park. Look at this with all the gardens, the jungle sort of halfway up. I hope you guys can see it the way I can, unbelievable. Oh well, I thought I was going to get tattooed when I come back, but I'm booked in for tomorrow afternoon. I'm pretty sure I'll be getting the Singapore Lion, but it's up to him. Yeah, so 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon I'm getting tattooed. And that works out better, guys, because that wave pool and everything I showed you in the last video in Kuala Lumpur, if I got tattooed on the 26th, I wouldn't be able to go there. I was just thinking, so this way, this tattoo will be nice and healed. I 
be able to go there and then get tattooed with Kelly with my Malaysian tattoo. Ooh. I really can't wait to come back here one day with Janet, show her this amazing city. She's going to love it. Oh, I'm walking under the eaves of the building with all the plants. It's probably about five degrees cooler at least in here as for the rest of the street. It's amazing. Cool, I can sit here all day. In fact, what I'm going to do, this looks like the bar here. Go and see if I can't get a soda water and ice. So this is inside. This is my lovely comfy chair. That's where I was walking along before. Oh, this is amazing, guys. Singapore is an incredible city. Very expensive, but what a place for a holiday. Sorry about the mask, guys, but this must have been on purpose. That couldn't have been a mistake. So I told you before, Luxor was one of my favourite foods. This is my first one since I got here. Just at a stall in a shopping centre. Absolutely delicious. Guys, what a big day. Um, my hotel's just up the road here. I left there about 9 o'clock this morning. It's now 4. And I did a lot of walking for a lot. I'm wrecked. But Australia, just across the road here, it says voted the best pizza in Singapore. So I'm going to come back here later. I'm going to go to my room, have a bit of a rest for an hour or two. I'm going to have pizza for dinner. Even though I'm going home tomorrow and at home, Janet will tell you pizza's my, my go-to. But yeah, it says there, SG's top ranked pizza. So I've got to go and give it a try. Well, guys, that was a big day. This is my hotel behind me, the Red Doors Premium at Ballastair. Um, I definitely got enough footage today to fill the movie, so I'm going to have to make two videos in Singapore. So if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, hit that mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. Um, may as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment, give me a big thumbs up, share this video everywhere you can. We'll see you in the next one.